So hello and welcome you all again in the series of lectures on wireless communications and today our topic of discussion is introduction to mobile and wireless devices. So what is actually the mobile communication? Mobile communication allows the transmission of voice and multimedia data via a computer or a mobile device without having connected to any physical or the fixed link. Okay, very easy to understand. Mobile phone, a mobile phone is a device that can make and receive telephone calls over a radio link while moving around a void geographic area. So this is the basic definition of the mobile communication. And you can see in the picture how the mobile fo phones, uh, you know, have got uh, their history of uh, evolution. The cordless phone in the first picture, DECT based technology introduced in 1981 as we have already studied in the previous two lectures before the GSM. So the size of that cordless phone was around you know 10-12 inches and then you can see the last image there the mobile phone. This is also this is also obsolete now. Nowadays we use 5-6 uh, inches uh, touch screen phones. Okay. So the first handheld mobile phone was demonstrated by the Dr. Martin Cooper. Um, in the, uh, the company was Motorola in, in 1973 used a handset weighing around 2.2 pounds 1 kg imagine 1 kg of phone how uh, heavy it was so the concept of uh, mobility are divided into two different categories first is the user mobility and second is the device mobility, device portability what actually user mobility is, it refers to the user who is moving or who has the access to the same or the similar telecommunication services at different places. Suppose I am moving from Raipur to Bhopal or Raipur to Delhi. Maybe I am using the Jio or maybe I am using the Airtel services or maybe it is possible that I will be using the idea and the idea will 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 give me all the connectivity over the same network okay and using the same same I can access the idea network or this way you can understand this that idea is actually renting Airtel it's its uh, area and its services and its uh, uh, all devices which is available across that particular region okay so this is how uh, I can access the services without changing my personal uh, instruments without changing my mobile without changing my sim okay so the user can be mobile but the services will follow him or her yeah so example for this mechanism as i said earlier also call forwarding roaming all, all this can be understood as an example for that now when we talk about the device portability whether i am available or not whether the user is there or not the communication device moves Okay, so many mechanisms in the network and inside the device have to make sure that communication is still possible while the device is moving. Okay, so a typical example for system supporting device portability is the mobile phone system, of course, where the system itself hands the device from one radio transmitter to the next if the signal becomes too weak. So, this is, this is different than the previous one. I mean, Suppose you are moving from one place to the other in the same region of area. Suppose we are moving from sector 1 to sector 7 or sector 7 to sector 10 and sector 10 to Durg. And we are having different, uh, you know, base station installed in, in the each sector. So, your if your mobile is also moving, then it will connect you to that base station which has the best coverage area. Okay. This has to be done to avoid the call drops, though there are various call drops we actually experience in our day to day lives, but it has now become very lesser. So uh, over the years we have worked on uh, the call dropping uh, problem and uh, by using this facility of handing over the calls from one base station to another base station depending upon the strength of the signal, the call drops has been avoided 
Now the wireless is nothing but it describes a way of accessing a network or the communication partners without a wire. So the wire is replaced by the transmission of electromagnetic waves actually and it is transmitted through the air. A communication device can thus exhibit one of the following characteristics. Either it is fixed and wired, the configuration describes the typical desktop computer in, a, in an office and uh, neither uh, weight nor power consumption of the devices allow for mobile usage. Of course, we cannot you know, take desktop with us and we can go anywhere around like the laptop or the like mobile devices. Okay, so devices use fixed networks for the performance reasons. Then the second category is mobile and wired. Many of today's laptops fall into this category. Yeah, it is mobile also, it is wired also. Suppose you have, if you are stationary and if you are using uh, uh, your uh, charger connected with the uh, laptop, you can, you can uh, understand it like a desktop also. And suppose you are moving with you and you are using it in, in train and using your battery, then you can understand it as a mobile device also. Okay, so reconnecting with the company's network via the telephone network and a modem both can be possible using the laptop. So it is it, it comes under the category of mobile and wired. Similarly, fixed and wireless, this mode is useful and it is used in installing networks, example in historical buildings to avoid damage by installing wires, you know, in, in trade. So this kind of uh, fixed and wireless networks are there in, in case of bigger buildings or it can be mobile and wireless so mobile and wireless is nothing but completely your mobile handsets this is the most interesting case no cable restricts the user you can roam between different wireless networks you know today's most successful example for this category is gsm uh, the slide was uh, made earlier and then uh, it was it is states that 800 million users are there it is more than that now what are the applications that we expect from the wireless network and, and, and the mobile communication? It is nothing but we see uh, the applications in, in, in our day-to-day -day lives. Vehicles. Now today cars already comprises of wireless communication system and uh, mobility uh, aware applications. Music, news, road conditions, weather reports, you know other broadcast uh, information are received via digital audio broadcasting and is done uh, with 1.5 megabits per second of the speed okay for personal communication you can use the umts universal mobile uh, telecommunication system and the data connectivity it provides is the 384 kilobits per second yeah the current position of the car is determined by the global position system that is the gps installed in the vehicle so all these are nothing but the example of the wireless communication. You can see the figure also. Different types of wireless communication. You can see a satellite there, you can see a base station there, you can see an antenna is there, a desktop is there, vehicle is also moving using the ad hoc communication. I will explain this ad hoc communication. And then uh, mobile is there, laptop is there, touchpad is there. All these systems are accessing the wireless communication only. So figure shows the typical scenario for mobile communication with many wireless devices. So networks with a fixed infrastructure like a cellular phone, GSM or UMTS will be interconnected with trunked or trunked, you can say, a radio system and wireless lens. Okay, satellite communication links can also be used. The networks between cars and inside each car will more likely work in an ad hoc fashion. Ad hoc means when the network is not permanent. So if I am moving in a car, I do not want that my network or my call or my data connectivity gets interrupted because of my motion. Okay, so if I am moving from one place to another, I want that whatever the best data connectivity I use, that has to be connected to my phone. एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जब हम जा रहे हैं तो आपके जहां पे भी मिडिल में जो बेस स्टेशन होगा वहां से आपका जो मोबाइल है वो कनेक्ट हो जाएगा ठीक है ताकि जो है आपको जो फैसिलिटी है आपके कार के अंदर वो ठीक से मिलती रहे सो so, इसलिए इसको एड हॉक बोलते हैं क्योंकि हमेशा चेंज होता रहता है ये इट इज नॉट परमानेंट इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसीज वी कैन यूज इमेजिन द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एन एम्बुलेंस 
with a high quality wireless connection to a hospital okay so vital information about the injured person can be sent to the hospital from scene of the accident yes yeah, so all the necessary steps for the particular type of accident can be prepared and a specialist can be consulted for an early diagnosis this can also be possible with the wireless communication it is happening also okay you might have uh, you know uh, heard about the scenario where a doctor is doing a surgery from europe a patient is in chennai yeah so this has happened and this is happening because of the wireless communication so wireless communication has completely changed our lives so wireless networks are the only means of communication in the case of the <coughs> natural disasters such as hurricanes or earthquakes uh, there is a flood in bihar there is a flood in assam how you how you will communicate with the people around there or even the authorities who is who is working to help the people there can the wired communication be helpful for you no not at all so the wireless communication only the satellite communication only the mobile communication only helps you in such situations so this is the importance of the wireless communication in business a traveling salesman today needs instant access to the company's database to ensure that files on his or her laptop reflect the current situation consistent database for all agents it's nothing but the mobile office see the scenario of amazon flipkart blue dart hmm zomato swiggy what they are using they are using the wireless technology not only to identify the uh, location of the uh, address which has been given to them but also to send the feedback to their offices to their bosses okay so their devices are equipped with the mobile technology and the wireless technology and this is how uh, the thing has changed the the technology has changed the technology has evolved actually so you cannot expect uh, a wired uh, machine or anything which is stationary or fixed to use the technology like zomato or uh, amazon or flipkart so you have to use the wireless communication that is the only alternative you have replacement of wired networks yes remote sensors weather earth activities flexibility of trade shows land in historic buildings you know so a lot of things as you can see in the picture as well building home car trains so all the systems where we use the wired communication slowly and steadily they have now been using the wireless technology and this is the future also if it is not there if 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 it is uh, if in any area the wired communication is present the future is nothing but the wireless communication location of dependent services so the follow on services automatic call forwarding transmission of the actual workplace to the current location email services yeah i want to access the current location of the user suppose ola is there uber is there so all this thing all the facilities which you which we use in day to day lives that is the technology enabled services we call what are they they are actually based on the wireless communication so uh, many mobile mobile and wireless devices use this wireless communication the sensor the embedded controllers then the pager mobile phone to use karte hi karte hain hum log the pocket computer notebook laptop you just name it in in today's technology you will find that wireless communication is always there so this is the brief introduction about the mobile telephony and the wireless communication in the next lecture we will study about the different wireless communication system and 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 a comparison between them thanks for watching